Doing something I didn't think I would ever do, I'm riding a trike. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Hello YouTube. This is Cruise Man wishing you a Merry Christmas 2018. I'm out on the 2018 Goldwing in Carrollton, Texas on Christmas Eve. Believe it or not, it is 61 degrees on Christmas Eve. I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to see if you can see my temperature gauge. 61 degrees. That's amazing. Out for a little ride. I've got to go mail some letters before Christmas Day. I'm going to be leaving town go see my brother for a few days out in West Texas. So this will probably be my last ride and motor vlog of 2018. Now I've got a special treat for you today. My Christmas gift to you is you get to see my first ride on a Goldwing trike or any trike for that matter. So I'm going to shut up and let you watch a little bit of my trike motor vlog at dream machines of texas doing something i didn't think i would ever do i'm riding a trike this is a 2016 honda goldwing trike and the reason i'm riding this trike is because i'm checking out boy it's weird feeling not having to put your feet down i'm testing out a f4 customs plus four windscreen on this 2016 Goldwing. So all they had available at Dream Machines was this trike. So I'm gonna try it. It's a little strange trying to turn this thing. So this is the first time on a trike and you get to watch it with me. Also haven't been shifting in a while. I'm used to my DCT on my 2018. Whoa, this thing wants to go all over the road. <laughs> this thing feels strange. The steering is very sensitive. If you turn it, I mean, you touch the handlebar, this thing wants to turn. It also is just the opposite of a motorcycle in that you don't counter steer. When you push on the right, it wants to go left, like, a, like you would, you know, think in a car maybe. Like you turn the steering wheel left, it'll go left. Just the opposite of a motorcycle. So this is a little different. Takes some real getting used to here. Like I say, I hope I remember to shift. I'll probably kill the thing um, once or twice during this test ride. Forget to pull the clutch in because I'm used to that automatic DCT transmission. This trike only has 5,300 miles on it. So it's you know pretty much brand new. 2016, kind of a flat gray color. So this is an interesting little experiment to uh, try out this truck. I'll make a turn here. I'm still kind of weirded out by this thing. And of course, when you turn right, it wants to throw you off to the left because of the centrifugal forces. It's just, it's different. So now I'm testing out the F4 Customs Plus 2 windshield on this 2016 trike. And uh, it's, I think I like it better for me. I, I think, uh, if I was any taller, I'd have to have the plus four, but this thing, I'm not getting any wind, and it's all the way up, and I can still see over the windshield just fine, and uh, I, I kind of like that. Now, I'll be doing a full or a more in-depth review, and not really an installation video, because I think F4 Customs already has installation videos on their windscreens, so I don't really need to show you that, but... I also mentioned in my uh, F4 Customs review that I love this tinted windshield. I really like the tint. And this one came in with just the hole cut for the vent, so I swapped out the OEM Honda vent, and it fit perfectly. It went right in. So that'll save you some money if you can order the windshield without the vent, just have the hole. 
And if you like these reviews, these moto vlogs, um, you like Cruise Man's Garage videos, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. I'll tell you what, riding that trike was pretty interesting. I think I prefer my 2018 Goldwing though. It felt a little strange being on three wheels. A little unstable for me. I don't know why. Maybe I get, I guess it just takes some getting used to. I guess, you know, a lot of you guys have bad knees or bad hips and you don't have a choice. You have to have a trike and I'm sure you get used to it. It was a very smooth ride. I will say that. It was very smooth over the bumps. It, you didn't feel a thing going over the bumps. Looking forward to a very exciting 2019. Um, Many of you have already pre-ordered my 2018 plus maintenance videos and those are scheduled to be released on January 1 which just happens to be the day I'll be back in town. So I'm excited about that. I've still got a few more videos I'm working on that will be released as part of that series just after the first. So we'll be adding more videos to that series as time goes on. And also, um, you just watched a little segment of my trike video which uh, where I reviewed the F4 Customs plus two and plus four windshields for the 2016 Goldwing. And of course their windshields will fit anything from 2001 all the way to 2017. And I forgot how how big those windshields are on those previous model motorcycles. You don't feel anything when you're sitting behind that plus two or that plus four windshield. You don't get any wind on the shoulders. You don't get anything on the helmet. It, it, I forgot what it was like. I mean, this, F, this F4 Customs Plus 4 on my 2018 is great. It does a great job. But man, those windshields on the previous model were so wide. It was really nice. And I know why you guys love those bikes. They really are the ultimate touring bike. So anyway, we'll be getting that video out for you soon on the YouTube channel. And I'm still waiting for a final approval from Rivco on the uh, driving light video that I did for them. So they're uh, looking it over and going to let me know. And hopefully that'll be out just after Christmas. I imagine they're taking some time off, so it's just a kind of a tough time of year to get a new video put out. And lots of new exciting videos coming just after the holidays. So make sure you stay tuned to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel for more exciting videos. I'm just now pulling up to the post office. I'm going to mail my letters. And I think I'm just going to sign off and say thanks to all of you for an incredible 2018. It's just been an amazing year. Appreciate all of you who've supported our YouTube channel and Facebook uh, Facebook page. And um, just want to thank all of you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a very happy 2019. Happy and healthy and prosperous 2019. Until next year, that's all for now from Cruise Man's Garage.